Hi everyone and welcome to Paper Pumpkin Week here on Creative Chelsea. This week I'm going to share with you some great card ideas that you can make with one set of supplies from this month's kit. Today I'm sharing with you my second alternative card using the November 2023 Paper Pumpkin Kit called Warm Wishes. This festive kit creates eight treat boxes, four in these two different designs. They're super fun and you can slide in a little treat into the bag that is provided in the kit. And here is the second car, uh, treat box that you can make with the kit. If you would like to watch me unbox and create those projects, you can click on the playlist up here in the top right corner. Each month I take the contents from the paper pumpkin kits and make alternative projects. My cards are easy to follow and can be made by both experienced or new paper crafters. You may need just a couple other products to complete them. You can follow along with me using supplies you already have or purchase any products you see me use from my online store. The link to all products is below in my description or on my blog, creativechelsea.com. Today I'm sharing how you can turn the treat bag into a shaker card with this quick and simple card idea. If you are new to my channel and would like to continue to see all of my paper pumpkin alternatives, make sure to subscribe using the link in the bottom right corner. To begin, we're going to take the blue house and we are going to separate along all of the score lines. This first score line, I actually will begin cutting it in the middle. I have noticed that sometimes when you try to cut a score line that's already been folded, it gets really rough along the edges. And by starting your blade in the middle of the score line, it kind of smooths it out a little bit more. Then I'm going to go ahead and cut at the base of the house here. I am not using the front of the house for my card today or the bottom piece. So you can go ahead and put those off to the side. I'm going to be using the back of the house, but I am also not using this top roof flap. So let's go ahead and cut that roof flap off right along that score line and put that off to the side. So this is the only piece we're going to be using today. You can see here those three windows in a row. I'm going to start by cutting it right along that edge to separate the windows from the roof line. So this cut is just a little under one and three fourths inches. I do have just a little bit more greenery showing, so I'm gonna just trim off just a little bit more from that. And then I'm going to trim just a little bit off the bottom. My final dimension that I want is one and five eighths. So it's just one eighth larger than maybe I might already be there, but okay. So it's going to look something like this. So for your pieces of cardstock, I'm using a balmy blue card base. I also have a balmy blue piece that is two and seven eighths by five and three eighths. And then I have a starry sky piece that is one and seven eighths by four and one eighth, which is a quarter of an inch larger than our window piece. And I'm going to go ahead and add those pieces together with a little liquid glue and that will give me a little border. And then you can flip that over if you're using liquid glue and smooth it out. So something like this. So let's work on the shaker card next. So to determine the size of shaker card, I did not want to open up this treat bag because there's going to be some pretty strong score lines and I didn't want to worry about trying to hide those. 
So I cut a piece of cardstock that is going to fit perfectly inside the treat bag. So again, this size is two and seven eighths of an inch. So just a little smaller than three inches and then five and three eighths. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it right in the middle of that treat bag. And starting on the closed end, we are going to use some tear and tape. And it's, we're gonna fold up that side. So we're gonna go ahead and fold up this side here. I'm placing tear and tape right along the edge of the cardstock. And then I'm also going to add some to the top edge of the bag. And remember, this is the side that is closed. This is open. So start on one, on that one, and then you're gonna fold it over, and then go ahead and do the same to that top section, okay? So here, we are now ready to add our elements and I'm just gonna use some sequins. These are the Subtle Shimmer Sequins. You can get these in the annual catalog or online. To add these, you want to make sure that they go in the front of your cardstock. So if you flip this over, you'll see that you have the lines from the folds of the treat bag. So make sure the front has no lines and it's nice and smooth. So you're gonna open this up and kind of create a little pocket there on the front side and sprinkle in some sequins. Make sure it's what you want, that there's enough in there. And then on the back, we're going to do the same adhesive. So one right at the top of the cardstock and one right at the top of the bag. Fold it over so it's nice and tight. And fold this one over as well. You notice that it's open. So we're next we're going to add the adhesive to adhere it to our card base. And you're gonna do that across the long sides. So one along the top and one along the bottom. Go ahead and cover up your sequins so they don't spill all over. And we can add this to our card base. I added it about a quarter of an inch from the top. Just like that. And there's going to be a little bit of a space because it's smaller on the length of that piece is smaller than the card base so that we have a little bit of give with the fold of the treat bag. So it should not overhang the card base at all. Okay, so there's our shaker element. We can now add our window right to the front of that I just placed it right in the middle. I like using tear and tape when adding things to this plastic. It's a really great adhesive for that because it's pretty much an instant hold. So right there in the middle. Look how cute that is. Next, I'm gonna stamp my greeting right in the middle along the bottom edge of the card front. I'm using Starry Sky ink, which coordinates with the cardstock and the Warm Wishes. So this line here is the middle. So let's do that again. And I'm gonna place it closer to the bottom so that I have room for my ribbon. Okay. 
You could stamp this first if you're worried about getting ink on any of your elements on top. Then I have some ribbon. This is the Starry Sky ribbon. And I have cut it to 33 inches so that I can wrap it around twice and have enough left over for a bow. So just find the middle, wrap one side two times, and the other side two times. Pull those nice and tight. And because this ribbon is so thin, it's a lot like twine. And so I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot and then I'll tie my bow. Make sure it comes down right between those two pieces. I'm going to go ahead and just twist it a little bit so it's a little bit more on the front of my card instead of the side and then tie that bow. You can also trim off any excess. With a pair of nice sharp scissors. I like to use fabric scissors for that. So the last thing we're going to do is just add a little detail to the windows with the die cut wreaths from the kit. So I like to use the little mini dimensionals for these. So I just added those to the center of the wreaths on my card. And then I have the little die cut wreaths that I can add right over those. And I'll repeat that for all three windows. If you only have a couple left over, you can do one, or you could like the one in the middle or the two on the sides. So um, you don't have to do all three if you don't have enough of those die cuts. And your card is all done. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me create this fun shaker card idea using contents from the November 2023 Paper Pumpkin Kit. If you would like to see written instructions or close-up images on how I created this card, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. If you would like to subscribe to get your own paper pumpkin kit, you can do so using the link in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.